Hello everyone, welcome back to Rapid Scan 3D tutorial. Today we're gonna go over Geomagic for SolidWorks uh, lofting tutorial. Uh, we have our part open and first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna um, take a look at the planes and see how the part is in three-dimensional world. Uh, looks like the part is not aligned. So what we're gonna do we're going to align our part to world coordinate system. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this plane and offset it. Now we're going to draw a line where that welding line is. We don't have to be 100% on top because the welding is quite difficult to align. So we're gonna do a perpendicular two lines. Once we finish two perpendicular, we're gonna find the center of that hole. And now we're going to go back and we're going to put a plane right in the middle. And rotate this plane at that axis. And then we're going to put a point. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to align my part to the origin that I am creating. You can put your origin anywhere you want it to. There's no restriction. I just prefer to put it right there. So I'm gonna select these planes. Mm -hmm. Once the coordinate system aligned, we're gonna use that top plane as a sketch. And we're gonna start using splines We're going to do the same thing for the other side. You can make small adjustments. Remember, these are fully editable splines, and it's not on the sketch of, it's not on the actual mesh data, it's on the plane. Once we complete these adjustments, we're going to go internal. And we're going to continue building the splines. We want to control the, the path of the loft where we're going to be creating. And once we've completed, we're going to create a plane. And then we're going to do cross section and move our plane a couple of millimeters back. And that's going to give us the outline. And we're going to hide this plane. The next thing is I'm going to use that as a reference and draw my new line on top of that plane. Normal 2. Don't worry about it. Snap it on to actual drawing in the behind the that. So just pull it back, delete the coincidence, and then snap it on to actual path that you created. And 
there you go. Now I can move this adjustment to the plane. And now it's done. And I'm going to continue building several more normal to that curve. And then we're going to go back, activate that. All right. Now we're going to go back and we're going to sketch another one. You can see it gives you inside of the tube and outside of the tube. We can use them as a reference. I'm going to sketch that one. Let's go ahead and do the arch again. Snap it. The highest point. And I think we're connected. Yep. We're going to do the same thing for this one. Delete that and then connect those two points. And normal two. And then adjust it. As I said, this is the welded piece. It could be uh, warped uh, from the heat. So I'm not really worried about getting it 100% correct. Our deviations, it's going to happen in a part you designing it. So after we create all these sketches, I'm going to hide all of them. And now we have the raw data. Once we complete it, we're going to click on the loft. One, two, make sure that direction is correct. Okay. Three, four, and five. Now we're going to do the guide curves. Make sure you select and then select that one. And here we are. Once we complete this process, we're going to mirror it. Looks as close as possible. Now we're going to go to the mirror option. I'm going to take that, use that plane, go, and we're done. And we're going to stitch them together. I create one single unified surface. Knit the surface, click both of them, and then surface needed. After we needed the surface, we got unified part. And if you want to add thickness to it, um, if you know the part thickness, you can measure it with micrometer. And I put some thickness to it. And the part is done. Now we can take a look at the, the outside, that path right there. So let's go ahead and activate our plane. That looks good. I'm going to select that and put some weld path. See how that works. So we, and then we already have the line. Doesn't want to do it. Let's just try it one more time. We can just click that and that. Perfect. Now we have the weld, 
kind of visual for visual representation doing this and then do the same thing select our sketch and path and we're done and we have we can just adjust the diameter if we want Same thing for the other side if you need it. Once we complete that, hide everything, and we can activate our Mesh data looks pretty close. And then I'm going to go to the top view. We already have a plane there. We can use that plane for cutting and creating more accurate. Yeah, I this real quick. Here you go. So next thing you can do is you can use the analysis tool deviation analysis and then you can click the eye it's going to basically calculate how close you are to actual model it takes a couple minutes a couple second remember if your file is too large sometimes it has a hard time calculating and eventually you'll get the result. The only thing you can't do is you cannot save the deviation analysis. You can take a picture of it, snapshot, and then you can send that to the machine shop or technicians who's gonna be building this. Well, thank you very much for joining us again. Have a wonderful day.